Hello everyone. Uh, so for today, we're going to have a free online lesson on the beam structure model in our workstation. We're going to get started now. If you have any of your colleagues who like to join us, uh, just, just let them know. We're going to get started very quickly from here to now. All right. Okay, so what we're going to look at today, uh, I'm going to show you how the integration from the Revit, how we can bring uh, our structure model from the Revit. Uh, we first need to define the load, the load point, the load boundaries inside the Revit. And after we have placed all those loads inside the Revit, we can bring them, bring them to the robot structure analysis to conduct uh, the analyze uh, for the structure. And then we can also bring back inside the Revit to view back that result in order for you to actually have the access to this so this is an additional um software it doesn't come with the rabbit only it comes with the either aec collection or you can also um purchase the individual rabbit and also robot structure and analysis here right let me go and share my screen so i have this arabic model so we have this Revit model structure model. Uh, let me show you in the training first. So we have um, have a very simple structure model here. It's a very sim simple uh, that have the foundation, that have uh, the column as uh, slab everywhere, and then also the steel uh, construction here. So what I'm going to do uh, under my analytical model here, uh, where I have my analytical model, uh, we're going to place first the loads uh, for in order for us to actually analyze them inside the structure robot structure analysis. If you see that here, I have placed some of the load, uh, but the way to do that is that if you go on the top where we have analyze, and then you can find the analytical model for the load. Okay, so you can either specify first the load cases that you want to include it. For instance, I'm going to use, it's all the L1, uh, the LL1 that I have, the HSU, and then the, um, you're going to specify according to that. And in order for me to, place uh, the loads for these at the point here. So I'm going to choose boundary condition and I can choose for the point where I can place according to the point here. And you can see that um, this is more attaching the point to the charge component here. All right. And then um, for instance, this is I have placed area load for my slab. In order to do that, you can go to the loads here. Instead of using this, you can go for here for hosted or any kind of the area. So you can select this and then you can find that uh, you have this option to place the load, area load, hosted area load. So if you don't have anything, but you want to uh, specify them as a some or area load, so you can use this. But now I have uh, the component slab here, so I can host it to that slab. So I'm going to use hosted area load. So this is look cases, the L1, and then you can see that that is, will be oriented to the project and then all the forces here, you can change it if you want to. I'm going, just going to do, use the default one. So you just place, click on your floor, and you can see that it will be placing into that. It's much more easy to use analytical model compared to if you're using uh, the solid model because it's, it might, you might actually selecting the wrong company. So over here, we have done, um, complete inside the Revit, placing all those loads inside the Revit. Now we're going to go to the robot structure analysis. So if you have downloaded on your uh, desktop the robot structure analysis with the same version as your Revit, so you can find this on your analyze. So you can find this panel on your analyze, the robot structure analysis, the result manager, and also result explorer. So I'm going to select the robot structure analysis. Okay, so we're going to link with the robot here. All right, so I'm going to send the model and then we're going to have direct integration, meaning that after that, uh, after I send this model, I want to open that robot software. If I want to send uh, to the robot file and then someone else that's going to open them from their own robot, uh, from their own desktop, so we're going to send to the intermediate file. For, so for this one, I'm just going to go for direct integration so I'm going to click OK. So that will be exporting all the um, details that we have inside this model. And that's going to take up a bit of a couple of minutes here. Right. Okay. So you can see that now it's open the robot structure analysis on my 
taskbar here, it will automatically open that uh, software for you. So you don't have to open first in order for you to actually use that. All right, so you're trying to read that. And after it has completed, it will give you all the report for the warning. So I just want to see them briefly here. So I can see uh, all these messages. So the warning here. So there is a bit of the regional setting here. I'm just going to ignore that for now. So I'm just going to close and it will bring me to the robot structure software here. All right. So this is where we want to conduct our uh, robot uh, the analysis structure. So over here, okay. Uh, you can see that just now we place already place all those loads, but I cannot see inside this model. So that one I'm just going to add it under the view. Okay, I'm going to go for the display so that I can see all my load there. And then under the load symbol here, I'm just going to tick them on. Why? And that is it. My load will be up here there, and you can see them. All right. Okay, so what we want to do first is that um, before we can conduct um, the analysis, maybe we want to change some of the setup here. So for instance, for this uh, floor, I'm going to click tap here, my slap here. Uh, the calculation is using the shell, which means that it's going to calculate according to the two-way slap. So I don't want to do, I don't want that. I want to uh, have one-way uh, one slap calculation. So I'm going to change this to tap. So that will be changing accordingly. And then another one thing that I want to change, uh, I want to show you also. Just now inside the rabbit, you see that we can set up uh, the load cases. We can also set up for our load combination. Uh, but inside the um, robot structure analysis, you can also do that. And then you can actually automate uh, creating the load combination. So if I go on the top where I have my loads, I can go to this automatic combination. Okay, so I can use the combination loot according to this code, according to the standard that I want to. If I cannot find the standard I want to use, I can just click on this to open the, uh, the standard that I want to have. All right, welcome to those who just join us. All right, so for instance, this one, I'm just going to select on the top here, and then I can click on the full automatic combination. We are going to create the load combination, automate that workflow, and I can go to more here. Okay, so this is all combination that is going to add it into our uh, analyze later on. And then you can see that these cases and my cases that I have here are being kept the same as what I have inside the rabbit. It's just um, over and adding some that I haven't have for the combination. And I can see that here. You can check whatever um, under this code that you are wanting to check and then make sure that it's a correct one. And then after that, we can just generate them. You can see that later, the load that I have placed here, they will also be updated. So I click on the generated. Okay. All right. So that have update here. Okay. So that is the second setup that I want to do. And so we have uh, automate the creating of the loop combination. And then we have also specified how we want to define for the slap to be a one way slap uh, for this calculation. So for the next one, uh, before you can actually conduct the analysis, uh, you can right away go to analyze and then you can do the calculation. Uh, but for before I do that, I want to create a mesh uh, so that we can actually separate all these uh, components into much more uh, smaller details of the nodes. So to do that on the top where I have option for the mesh generation, so it's basically just like the grids for analyze this or structure component. So I'm going to set up first on the here. So this is because we are not selecting any specific, we want to create for all here. So I click on yes. Right. So I can click on what kind of imaging that I want to create it, the method. So for this one, I'm going to click for a complex one. And then um, I can also specify the elements for my the element size for my mesh generation here. So I'm just going to use about uh, two feet here. You can also see further on these more details on how you on what kind of the meshing setup that you want to do. But for now, I'm just going to use the default one and click on OK there. 
and that have created the meshes, but not yet the uh, calculation here. I have created that meshes, and I'm going to go for generation for these meshes. All right, so you will create that calculation for that meshes first before we can actually generate the analysis for our uh, the whole structure. All right, so that is, all right, so there's a lot uh, about a two warning here, it's fine for me. So you can see that now, now this, all these surfaces has been divided with the meshes, with the grid lines, I would say, so that which one of them they have a note here. If you see that there is a small note in there, and if I point to them, they all have uh, their own uh, value here. Right, so what we want to do now, okay, we have created the mesh. So meshes is very important before you actually uh, do the analysis so that you can see more details on how we, uh, the analysis later. So now we're going to conduct the structure analysis. So to do that, we just have to go to analysis on the top here. And I'm going to first go for analysis type. So I want to ensure that I select what kind of analysis that I want to conduct for this one. So here I'm just going to go for the L1. You can select uh, what kind of the analysis that you want to uh, create. It. You can change them if you want to. Okay, so I'm just going to go for the L1 here, and then I calculate here. So that we calculate the structural analysis first. All right. If you have any question, just feel free to actually ask inside the chat box. Here. All right, so now, okay, that have uh, been completed. So I click on the close here and close that. Okay, now how we want to build up that calculation has been completed. So how do I know? Because under below here, okay, below here where you can see the result FEM is now available, meaning that we have um, the result for this, uh, the, the one that we have conducted. So now how do we want to view that uh, result inside this model? inside this robot is that we can go under the result here. Okay, so I have this option on how I want to view them. So for now, I'm just going to use the maps here. Right. So I can choose what kind of the um, layer that I want to show, what kind of the result that I want to see inside this model. I'm just going to place, um, I'm, I'm going to select this displacement by Z here, and I click on apply. And then you can see that now uh, we have an analysis visualized inside our robot. And um, indicate on here, so you know that that's white color is fine. Uh, that's um, very dark blue color is not fine. Something wrong there with lots of blue there. Okay, so that is, um, you can use these to actually view them um, according to the map here. And then you can specify what kind of the um, information that when you want to choose, you want to show, visualize, and then you start that, and then you can find them uh, under these robots that visualize on your model. All right, so that is um, how you can perform this calculation and also how you can actually visualize them. Okay, now what I want to do is that I want to bring back these uh, robot structure analysis back into the Revit, and then uh, I want to view them back inside the Revit. So I'm just going to click close here. All right, so before you do that, um, if let's say that even after you have done the analysis, it's better to actually refresh back. On the top here, we have this calculator look like icon. So you can select that and it will just refresh back your calculation, anything that is um, that needed to be refreshed quickly from there. All right, so before we can actually bring back inside Revit. All right, okay, so then that has been refreshed. So I'm going to just go back into my Revit here. Okay, if I want to view back, I can go back to robot structure analysis. I click back on the robot structure analysis link. Okay, I click on update model and result. So this will be that integration as well. I just click on OK there. All right, and then we have uh, to save these packages. So I'm just going to pick, select uh, model one here. I'm just going to use this import information to save as a result package. I click on OK here. 
breath so that we take about a few couple minutes then. But that is basically what we have um, inside the robot structure analysis. All right. And then it's going to go back into the rabbit and then you can also see back inside the rabbit. It's also, um, if you have the, the uh, result from your colleagues, so you can also do that. So I can select instead of direct integration, I can choose from the um, intermediate one. All right, so just uh, while we're waiting for that update, I'm just going to quickly uh, give you the insight on what this robot can do, is that it, it provides you a, a seamless connection between the Revit and also um, between the design in Revit and also the analysis. So you don't have to use, um, you don't have to export or save as a different so a different format. You don't have to save them and open on the other software. So you just have to go for your from your design software and then on the top you can just click on the send them to the robot and then the second one is that you can conduct the advanced analysis you can easily visualize them uh, you can visualize them inside the map inside the table inside the numbering uh, you can also optimize um, how we can run for the code checking okay so after this i can show you one more uh, for analysis that we can do for checking on the code group for the design and then um that's very good um, at the end of the day, we get a reliable result that we guarantee the safety and human comfort. All right. All right. So if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. We're waiting for that a couple more minutes to actually update that result. All right. So I'm just going to go back to my robot structure analysis here. So we can that. Okay. On the down below here, where you can see that over here, this is all um how you want to view that uh, is the model so after this i'm going to show you how i can if i want to see them inside the section if let's say that i want to see the information about what kind of the support we have um also if i have any kind of the, the support system here so i can show uh, see them inside uh, the view tab here the model of the all right, welcome, welcome everyone who just joined us just for today. I did that. Um, welcome, Mr. Ken. Welcome, Mr. Lim. Welcome, Mr. Rizwan. Welcome, Trit. Welcome, Mrs. Teresa. Welcome, Mr. Ting. Right, so I need to go up right here. All right, so that has been updated. So I'm just going to click on the report to see that. Again, uh, we have this report result package as is in this current, okay, at this time it has been updated that result. Okay, that's close, that's good for me. So um, I'm going to go to the 3D here. All right, so I wanna visualize that inside my rabbit here. Um, what I can do is that under my result manager, okay, so you can see that I have already this result, okay. So I have this result that I have inside this robot trash analysis that we have bring them. So we can uh, see that the previous one, you can also see that if it is outdated and so on. So for this one, for instance, if I want to view them here, I click on explore. Right, so we'll check all the result status, compare the model. Okay, that's all fine. So now uh, let's say that I want to see the deformation. So I click on that and I click on apply and that will show up the deformation that's not hit inside the strabit. So you can visualize them also on inside the strabit for that result. Correct? Okay, you can go to Resort Explorer and then um, if you have uh, from the other, so you can input here. So you can click on how you want to view that. So if I want to see on a couple of bit of time. All right. All right. So that is for robot structure analysis. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the robot structure analysis. And then I want to show you uh, how we can actually do for grouping the the, the we want we want to group some of the component here, and then we want to do the code checking for that component. 
Right. So before that, let me just close this map here. That apply okay so this one that i show i mentioned to you is that uh, if you want to see for instance i want to see the description for that support i can click on that and it will show up the name and uh, if i want to see um, the support symbol i can click on that and the support symbol will be show up okay so that he didn't hide them and now that's showing them okay uh, now i want to use the section uh, so that i can actually easily see them and i select them I want to show you here. Okay, first, if you want to group them on the top here, under the geometry, instead of for the structure model, I'm going to go for steel design because I'm going to group this inside under the steel design. So I click on that steel design and I click again on the steel aluminum design. And that will bring us to these, uh, whatever we have a steel a group and a members, it will be here, the data. Okay. So for instance, I want to group this uh, six, uh, 267, 268, and we have 269, 270. So what I'm going to do is click on a new here, that will be number one, and then the member list will be 270 to 267. Uh, All right, and it's more manual way, right, that's fine. Okay, and then after that, okay, uh, I have grouped them. I click on a save that for run. Okay, so now we want to do conduct the calculation. So under the calculation here, instead of using individual member, so I'm going to use for the code group that we have done here. I click on the code group to calculate that one. So I click on the list and then I have one here. So I bring them to the top and I close here. And then for this one calculation, I will click on the up. Optimization, I click on the option. So I'm going to optimize for the weight. So I just want to have a calculation on the weight here for the optimization click on OK. And then we can go for the calculation. All right, so that is very quick. So you see that now what I have inside here, the information about how we can actually um, optimize them. So you can see that these um, over here, the sizes, the size, is okay, just okay. You have uh, on the top here, which is uh, the good one. You can also see more detail on this information by clicking on that, and it will bring you on um, all the results, uh, the detail more the result on that. On the forces, on the bending moment and everything. All right, so what I'm going to do is that, okay, if you, let's say that for the group that we have uh, 267, 27, uh, 268, 269, until 270, we want to change to the best one here. We can click on the change all. Uh, if I click on the change all here, and then you can see that this will um, show up because we have conducted the, um, we have conducted the analysis. So that will actually uh, affect the analysis and then we have to reconduct them back. Yes, that okay. Okay, now you can see that it has been changed. So I close this one. I'm going to save this result. So I'm just going to save that one if I want to use them back. So if I click here, so you see that if I right click and then object properties, and I can see that under my properties here, um, here, you can see that. So that is the one that we are have changed. The same as what we have one, the best one uh, option just now. All right. So let me just save this. Um, if you see also on the down below now, on our result here, it's currently out of the update. So every time you make changes, that will happen. So you have to reconduct again your calculation and then it will say available, all right? So for now, I'm just going to save this project. So um, quickly on how you want to save them, similar to how we have always saved the project here. Let me go back to the structure model geometry here. Okay, so I click on apply, save as. So I'm just going to quickly straight away structure. So you can also see that you have uh, the other option on saving, either you want to save without the result or with a robot with the result itself, or you can also save them as TWG. Why? So I'm just going to click on the save the robot with the result here. 
Okay, so if you have saved your robot model, always check that you want to have go back to your rabbit. Make sure that you uh, robot under the robot structure analysis, you update again the link so that the one that we have saved, it will link back to the original one that uh, robot model that we have done. Or otherwise, you can send back the model for the calculation. So just click on update the model. So you will update all that model information and then also the link. And then we have done on the robot structure analysis. Okay, so that is a very easy way on how you can use the robot structure analysis integration with the rapid. So you can give a try and then if you have any questions or you have any issue with that, you can just uh, feel free to reach out to us. Okay, so for now, if I have completed that one, I can close them, that's, um, that is fine. So that is always half the error. It's that one later. All right, after that, um, that's it. We have done that very easy uh, calculation within the robot and also the integration with the robot and also the robot. Uh, just a few before we end this session, I'm just going to go for a quick uh, tips here for conducting the analytical model. So you see that here um, under my analytical model here, if um, you want to create your analytical model, just now I have used the one that I have inside this rabbit. But let's say that I want to create them. It's very easy is that if you don't have this, you can just duplicate your 3D model. So I can just duplicate them. But usually if you are using the structure mode, structure template to start your project, you will right away see this analytical model. But if you don't have, you can just uh, duplicate your 3D model. I can just rename them and let me just uh, rename this to something that similar. All right, so um, I can go under my, okay, the very easiest way is that, okay, I can go my identity data, under my identity data, under the view template, I can click on the none here. And then I can choose with the structure analysis template here. So you can choose any one that any types that you want to use, either the unconnected nodes or processes and everything here. So I'm just going to click on the structure analytical isolated 3D and I click on apply, and that will give you uh, the structure analysis uh, analytical model here. And also one more if let's say inside my 3D model, I sometimes I happen that when I model them uh, and that analytical model show up, but I don't actually want to view them. Uh, usually people go for VG on top here, but that's uh, actually lots of the workflow that. What is a very easy way is that under the note, under down below here, we have high analytical model. So you can either show them up or you can also hide them up anytime that you want. All right, so that's um, a couple of tips inside the rabbit for analytical model, and then that's it in conducting for the robot structure analysis. So I'm just going to quickly recap for those who just joined us a bit late just now. So just now what we have done is that under the analytical model inside the rabbit, you have to set up for the analytical model loads. You have to define that load points and that loads area, and then you have um, after that you have to ensure that you install the same version of the rabbit with your robot. And then you can just send your rabbit for the um, robot to robot structure analysis from your rabbit software. So you just click on that and send to the rabbit, uh, to the robot and then inside the robot where we can actually conduct this uh, depth structure um, analysis just now. All right, so I think that's pretty much for today. Um, just in case that if you have any, if you want to see them back later on, you can just always go back into, uh, you have the option either you can go back into our YouTube channel. All right, so feel free to go to our YouTube channel. We also have conduct this under the live. So you can also view under our YouTube, uh, Facebook, you can follow us. Uh, we always update the latest uh, information about our uh, inside this ACAD system about our uh, software or any sales that you want to know, you can also get the update from this uh, Facebook. All right, so you're going to see back, so you can just go to this ACAD system YouTube channel as well and just type in whatever information, whatever FOL that you want to see from here. All right, I think that's pretty much for today. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us for today. I guess this is, will be my last FOL. Uh, I hope, uh, thank you everyone for always um, go with me for the my free online lesson take care and have a nice day bye bye and have a good uh, CNY and holiday everyone